Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking how to create this frosted glass effect inside Photoshop. This is going to be a quick tutorial and it's something that can be useful for you to create textures or when you're creating digital art. Now without further ado, let's have a look how to make this frosted glass effect inside Photoshop. We will start by uh, making a new document. So I'm just going to make a new 2000 by 2000 pixels. And we're gonna make a layer on top of uh, our background. We're gonna choose something for base. This is just so that we have uh, some sort of a color or something to uh, show underneath. So I'm going to grab a circle. Let's create something like that. And we're just gonna fill it in. Now as a next step, I'm going to duplicate this circle. Just gonna move it a little bit downwards. And we're gonna paint this one uh, completely black. We're gonna take a rectangle, I will just cut it so that we have uh, just half of it. We don't need uh, the whole piece. And as well, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Now, what uh, we're gonna do is just gonna convert those two into smart objects by right clicking and uh, saying convert to smart object. Now that we have both layers uh, converted into smart objects, we just gonna right click and go into blending options or we can double click uh, over here. And this we are going to do for the element that is on the top, the one that is going to be the frosted glass. So I'm just double clicking over here. First, we're gonna go into stroke. So here we are gonna put two pixels and opacity we're gonna lower on 60%. Second step that we are gonna take is uh, to do an inner glow. Here we are changing it from uh, the blending mode from multiply into normal. Then what we are gonna do is change the opacity as well to 8% and then moving into elements we will move the choke to 15 and the size to 30 pixels. This of course uh, have in mind that uh, it depends a little bit on the size of your document and uh, the size of, of everything and uh, how exactly you would like this effect to look like. So it might be needed that uh, you will have a little bit bigger or smaller uh, parameters depending again of both size of your document that you created initially and as well the overall size of your objects and how uh, much you want to see this effect. Now as a next step we are going into a uh, color overlay. This will change the overlay of the color so we have uh, the completely black color initially but uh, we are going to uh, change it and we can make it, uh, I'm going to make it into a completely white color. Of course, if you would like a little bit of bluish or something like this into your frosted glass, we can always change it from here and make it so that uh, you have this. But uh, we are also going to lower the opacity. Uh, let's make it on 18%. And now we are going into drop shadow. Here we will put it so that we have 10% on our opacity. Then we're gonna put 70 on the distance. Spread we're gonna put on 0% and the size we're gonna put on 65 pixels. And these are pretty much most of the settings that uh, we need over here. So I'm just going to click OK. Now what we're gonna do is uh, duplicate our uh, bottom layer. We can do this the same way that uh, I just did it with the drag and drop it over here or as well we can use a shortcut. When we have uh, the layer selected we can just use Ctrl plus J and this will create a duplicate. I'm gonna put this uh, on the very top and this is uh, something that uh, we're gonna use uh, in a bit for uh, masking. But now before that so that we have uh, this uh, frosted effect we need to add a little bit of blur to it so that it's not uh, that sharp and crisp. So what we're gonna do is uh, going to go to filters, then blurs, and then the Gaussian blur. Here we will put something like 40 pixels, so uh, it will be quite a lot blurred. And then uh, we're gonna right click and 
come over here, create clipping mask. Now, if we lock uh, this layer over here and we, we grab our layer on the bottom, you can see that uh, we are starting to get this uh, effect, like everything is uh, behind this frosted glass. Now let's look uh, into some of the options and some of the settings that we did and how we can further customize this to fit better our project. So once we have the effect uh, already done, uh, what we can do is, uh, for example, we can change uh, the color of uh, the base of the glass. So everything that we need to do is uh, just we gonna have to uh, convert it uh, not to be a smart object for the moment and then get the color that we want. So for example, if we want a completely white transparent glass, we can just use the white color and then we gonna have uh, this white color effect. Then let's go uh, into the blending options and see what we can change from over here. So here, for example, if we would like to uh, change a little bit the color that is inside for the, for the blur itself and give it a little bit of a color variation, we can do this. So if I go a little bit blue, you can see that uh, now it has a little bit of color variations inside. So we can make it like with a little bit of a blue tint. Also, what we can do is uh, change the inner glow. This is going to change uh, this element here, how exactly the whole frosting is happening. So if we want to have, let's say, a little bit of uh, reddish color in there, you can see that now we are starting to get these red edges. So just to uh, support the blue tint that we added earlier, I'm going to add a little bit of blue on the edges as well. And of course, the shadow element is something that uh, we can edit if we want to make it a little bit stronger or maybe change the distance, direction and everything else. Thank you for joining me in today's quick tutorial inside Photoshop. I hope that this is useful and helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.